The new Paradox Rift set is right around the corner, and what better way to celebrate than to open up an early booster box here courtesy of the Pokemon Company International. So just an absolutely massive shout out to them for thinking of me and sending me some early product here to open up with you guys. But if you still need to get some Paradox Rift product for yourself, I've got you covered on that too. Friends of the channel over at flipsidegaming.com are still taking pre-orders. If you use coupon code RAREcandy at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order and free shipping too, which yes, does mean even on booster boxes and elite trainer boxes. But if Flipside is out of stock by the time you come across this video, you can also use my affiliate link with TCG Player. They'll show you all of the next cheapest online listings and all of these really do help support this channel too. Links to these will be down below in the description. And I'm also gonna be giving away all of the code cards that we open up in today's video. So I'll be sprinkling a few throughout the opening as well. But if you wanna win the remaining ones, all you guys have to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment down below what is your favorite new card from Paradox Rift. I'll randomly select a winner once we get closer to the release of the set and reply to them down below in the comment section. But with all that out the way, remember to smack that like button to feed the YouTube algorithm. And let's crack open this box and see what we can get today. Okay, we have our box finally open here and we're gonna start with, looks like a Roaring Moon pack. Yeah, we have Doublade, Miltank, Wimpod, Plusle, Screamtail, okay, our first Paradox Pokemon. Iron Bundle, Ferrothorn, Wiglet, <laughs> right out the gate, guys. Professor Turo's Scenario, Alt Art, and the Milotic. Turo is actually pretty decent. You get to pick up one Pokemon uh, and play into your hand, kind of like the old AZ card. But yeah, definitely pretty stoked on that one. Definitely a good pull, like I said, to kick off this opening with. For me, I think, like obviously Iron Hands is seeing a lot of hype in the competitive community. So that's definitely gonna be one to go after, specifically the full art version for me. Um, Garchomp EX is definitely another card that I'm really excited about. It's like definitely up my alley in terms of its play style. So definitely looking for full arts of those. Again, I'm like the only person on the planet who doesn't play with the illustration rares. And speaking of which, we have a Dotler illustration rare, or illustration rare. <laughs> Not too hyped about this card in particular, but hey, it does look nice. And we have a Brute Bonnet. And also guys, since we have been getting some ultra rare hits here, uh, I will at least dish out some code cards for you guys. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far. We'll see if we can keep this up through <laughs> uh, in this, into this next pack. I don't even know what this Orbital does. Let's see, three for each energy in your opponent's discard pile. Not sure how great that'll be, but that's kind of cool. Got Nimble, Reversal Nicket. And we have Hollow Zatu, definitely I think one of the better regular Hollow Rares. Uh, it's kind of like the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, but now on a single prize Pokemon. So this ability definitely could see some play. But back to chase cards. Uh, like I said, Full Art Garchomp is definitely there for me. Full Art Iron Hands. I'm pretty sure we're getting the Secret Rare Reversal Energy. Uh, I'm, if you guys know me, you know that I'm all about my gold blinged out cards. So definitely, I think that's going to be probably the secret rare or i think now they're technically called hyper rares but that'll be the gold card uh i'm gonna be probably most looking for we got earthen vessel definitely a solid card not sure if this one has a secret rare or not but if so that's another one that wouldn't be bad or even reverse hollows would definitely be sick to pull for that one got loudred reverse hollow magby hey and we have a galisopod ex okay probably one of the slightly junkier exs in the set i hate to say even though glisopod is or Glycopod is kind of a cool Pokemon. Uh, but either way, still feel free to have a code card since uh, it's still at least a double rare or higher. Okay, I'm trying to think about full art trainers next in this set. I know there's the Professor Sada. Uh, definitely, I think that's, man, I forgot all of the supporters in this set, but I think that's probably one of the better ones. So far of that would be nice. Also just regular full art Turo would be cool as well. I'm forgetting the the trainers that we got in uh, Raging Surf, the first like Japanese set that came out. Ooh, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Definitely cool with the reverse hollow of that one. And kind of neat they are going back to like the mirror hollow foils for these, uh, I guess, ancient and future Pokemon. And just a Garganical. But yeah, I'm blanking on the supporters that were decent outside of the ones that are in... Uh, 
uh, the Japanese version of Paradox Rift, Ancient Roar and Future Flash, I think it's called. So maybe there's another cool floor art supporter we could get, but right now I think the big one on my mind is probably the Professor Sada. Got Yemask, we have Nimble, and we have, oh, we have a Latios. I, another card I didn't know was in this set. And looks like this card has kind of a nick at the top. That's a little bit unfortunate. Now, luckily, this isn't like an insane pull of, of any kind. We're probably going to get more Latios even in this box. So uh, not the end of the world, but it's still a, a minor annoyance, I would say. Okay, we got Charcadet, Little, Trubbish, Semiseer, Crobat. Okay, Roark says draw two, put a basic from your discard into your hand. Okay, not great. Not the worst thing ever though. We got Palkia, Reverse Hall Spathra. Oh, actually two Reverse Hall Rares. That's kind of cool. Don't see that too often. And we have a Hall Rare Evil here. Okay, or Corio. Another card I'm not too familiar with here. Shuffle your hand to your deck, then draw a card for each bench Pokemon. Okay, so it's kind of like Chorus, but as an attack. Uh, not too great as an attack, unfortunately, but still, uh, I guess this actually could be pretty cool for pre-releases. We got Toad School, Vanillite, Semi Sage, Norman, okay. Draw two if your opponent's active is an EX, draw two. Okay, so it's kind of like the, uh, I think it was called Coach Trainer, that it did the same thing, but it was if your opponent had a tag team Pokemon as their active, same sort of energy. We got Orthworm. Reverse Hollow Gibble, hey, I am definitely cool with this. Uh, definitely looking for Reverse Hollow versions of any playable cards. We got Blip Bug, and we have a Hollow Espathra. Ooh, and this guy does remind me, um, we are gonna be looking for Golden Go EX. Is it Golden Go, is it Goldango? I'm not sure exactly the correct pronunciation on it, but uh, definitely looking for that full art Golden Go EX to be specific, but. Yeah, definitely one of the more solid new cards we're getting in this set. We have a Zep Strike, okay. Not familiar with this card either. Choose a basic lightning from your discard pile, up to number of prize cards your opponent has taken, and attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you like. Kind of a, it's like a cool effect, but if your opponent's already ahead on prizes, this is not the type of attack you want to be using, like in the mid and late game. Got Dotler, Gligar, and a low kicks. Okay, what does this guy do? Let's see, 10 plus 40 for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, that's kind of cool. I guess, I don't really know what we're playing this in, but you in theory could do like an insane amount of damage with this thing. So I don't know, maybe this card will be okay eventually, but doesn't seem too impressive to me just yet. Okay, so we have a Charcadet. And is it just me? It feels like there's a million Charcadets so far. I'm not sure how many there were pre Paradox Rift, but I think there's already like four, even though we're only a couple sets into these Scarlet and Violet cards. We got Toad's Cruel, Screamtail. We have one of the new technical machine cards, the Evolutions, I think one of the better ones that we're getting. We got Flittle, Vanillix. Hey, and we have a Florit supporter. Unfortunately, it is Chantal. I don't want to say this is the worst one, but it's got to be one of the worst. It's basically just like a worse boss's orders. So yeah, this card will probably never see any play. I'd be willing to bet, but if nothing else, guys, it will at least give you a code card. It is still a pretty decent pull in terms of rarity, I suppose, but uh, kind of unfortunate because the fact that we're getting this means we're going to be a little bit less likely to get one of the more playable supporters. I mean, I guess we could still get like the one of the illustration rare versions of Professor Sada or whatever, which that would be great. But I don't prefer the illustration rares. I usually like the just regular, more boring full arts. So it's looking a little bit less optimistic in that regard. But still, I don't think we're doing awful so far. Got Ambipom, Snorlax Doll, Pansage, Semi Sage, kind of a cool little uh, duo of reverses that we got there. And we have an Eveltal. Okay, we got Blipbug, White Coco, Snowrunt, Exploud. Actually, was Exploud do? Discard your opponent's active and all cards attach, okay? If this Pokemon didn't evolve from Loudra during this turn, this attack does nothing. Okay. 
So kind of cool, but the way it's designed, it's kind of prevents you from doing this on back-to-back -back turns unless you're evolving into another Explode. So I guess that's kind of balanced. Uh, we have Mela. I'm not sure if this card has a full art, but this is another one I wouldn't mind getting one of. We got Slitherwing, Veluza, uh, Luxurious Cape, not a bad card. And we have Iron Moth. Okay, we got Larry, Yamask, Surskit, Whismur, Tinkaton. Let's see, 60 plus 120 if you have any metal energy attached. Okay, so if you have a prism energy, you're doing 180 for one. It's like not horrible. We have Durant, Earthen Vessel, Crocolore. Hey, we have Reverse Hollow Jirachi. Definitely a card I'm excited about. Uh, has a very powerful new ability that, of course, is going to be annoying for those Lost Zone decks to deal with. So uh, definitely wanted a reverse version of this. Kind of bummed there is no Illustration Rare Jirachi. That's one I actually wouldn't mind having had they made it, but is what it is. And we have a Wo Chien from there. And I made a tweet about this as well, but it's kind of weird. Jirachi is a common in the set. Like, I guess that's good for the game in terms of giving... Um, people more easy access to playable like staple cards, but it's just intuitively feels weird to me having a legendary Pokemon like that be the same rarity as not to here, you know? Okay, we have a Gore, guys. I have not seen this card yet. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, this card, two random cards from your opponent's hand. Okay. That's kind of cool because if you put down a Spirit Mask, I think it is, or... I think there's actually a new tool in this set that does kind of the same thing. Uh, you can discard three cards from their hand, so that's actually kind of neat. Unfortunately, the card doesn't do a lot of damage, but in theory at least, uh, you can strip them of their hand and put them down to a low hand size, so kind of cool. We got Tatsugiri, Vanillix, Toad School, Apom, and we have a Bombardier EX. Okay, so not one of my most hype new EXs, but I think this first attack does have a little bit of potential. You can actually use it on the first turn of the game and search your deck for three basics and put them on your bench, which is pretty cool because the big issue with cards like this and supporters like this is the fact that you can't attack turn one and you can't play supporters turn one, uh, which makes these effects usually pretty bad. But uh, maybe Bombardier will be able to see some play. We'll have to see. Oh, and feel free to have a code card since we did get that Bombardier. Okay, we got Flamigo. Porygon, Cedra, Magby, Medical Energy, Steeny, Glyscore, let's see, Toxic Sting, Flip a Coin of Hedge, your opponent's active is Poison, okay, nothing too great. We got Reverse Porygon Z, which is a rare. We got Horsey, and we have a Kingdra, so kind of nice. We got almost the whole evolution line right there. Okay, and it looks like we have three packs left for the first half of the box. And I think pull rate wise, we're actually doing pretty well here. But unfortunately, the actual pulls themselves, other than the Turo, haven't been super impressive just yet. And we definitely have time to change all that. But so far, things are a little bit on the slow side when it comes to more exciting pulls. Got Veluza, another technical machine, medical energy reverse. Hey, we have an illustration rare Aegislash, which I think actually is kind of an underrated card people are sleeping on a little bit. I know it has the same ability as the Mimikyu that we have already, but uh, I wouldn't sleep on the fact that this card has a lot more HP and does uh, better damage too. So it could be a card worth playing at some point. And we have a Hollow Rare Steelix, but I will at least get a sleeve on this Aegislash and of course dish out a code card for that one too. Okay, so we're down to the last two packs and honestly, I'm not sure we're gonna get anything else in these last two packs. It'd be amazing if we did, but uh, we've already pulled so much for this first half that I think it's looking a little bit unlikely for us to get something super crazy. Uh, we got Oracorio, Swablu, Pansir, Absol, Semi Sage, Norman, Elekid. What's this guy do? 30 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Nothing too crazy there. Nackley, and a Hollow Chien Pao. Okay, I'm going to need our homie Armor Rouge to bring us some good luck to to end this first half of the box. Again, I think we're fine even if we don't get anything, but what remind me a full art Garchomp or a full art Golden Go or something like that, that's for sure. Okay, we got Wotria. What does this thing do? 
So when you play this Pokemon from hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you can search your deck for three Pokemon tool cards. Okay, not the worst thing in the world. It's level ball searchable, I guess, but I don't know. It's a stage one coming into play effect like this. Not convinced it's going to be super insane or anything. Uh, we got Octillery. Okay, and we actually did get one more pull. Unfortunately, again, it's not one of the the better ones in the set. I think Serene EX is okay. I think the card actually does have potential, but it's not one of the ones that we're like really on the hunt here for, unfortunately. But the card does look nice. I do love the way all the base like Terra Pokemon EXs look. Even though they're not full arts or anything, they still do have like some texture to them, which is uh, definitely super nice. And of course, feel free to have a code card since we did get that EX there. Okay, but going on to the second half of the box here, I think we're doing pretty good, but I can't help but wish we would get something a little bit more uh, sought after, something a little bit better. I hate, I'm not ungrateful for what we've gotten so far, but uh, I am a player first and foremost, guys. I am definitely a collector second, so I care more about the playability of these cards. Uh, we got Hone Edge to go with our uh, Age of Slash that we got earlier, so that's cool. We got Charcadet, and we have a Hollow Deoxys which might be kind of a decent card in a theoretical Zatsu deck. We'll have to see. But we got Panpour, Blitzel, Bound Sweet, Phoebus, Technoradar. I think it's our first one of that one so far. We have the return of Countercatcher, definitely one of my favorite new cards coming out in this set. We got Masquerade, Toxel, Reversal Absol, and a Hollow Rare Groudon, which actually isn't the worst card. Uh, ever this does have I think a little bit of potential maybe to be played with uh, the new Garchomp EX for the Magma Purge attack we'll have to see but not the worst hollow rare to get okay got Horsey, Joltik, Exploud, Mela, Slitherwing, Snowrunt, Wimpod and a hollow rare Zacian so we'll say I don't think we've gotten too many like duplicate hollow rares just yet Whereas with Obsidian Flames, I feel like I got so many out of the, the packs I opened for that set. So maybe there's just a lot more in the set. Uh, we got Pansage, Mantike, Gabite, teasing us with the Garchomp EX we still have yet to get. We have the regular Professor Turo's scenario. We have Reverse Minior, Reverse Toad School, and we have an Iron Jugulus. I think this card is kind of cool. It might see some play. 50 to three of your opponent's Pokemon that have damage counters on them. So maybe this could pair with the new Iron Valiant TX. That's a, definitely another card we wouldn't mind pulling in this box at all. But uh, yeah, not a, an awful hollow rare to get. But as you can see so far, this half of the box definitely hasn't been stacked as uh, that first half. Like two packs in, we had already gotten two different things. And we're, what, like six packs or so into this half. And we're still looking for something good here. Uh, we got Zubat, Gorgeist, and I just love the art on this thing. That's another reason why I'm kind of hoping this card will be playable at some point, just have an excuse to play these. Uh, we got Tatsugiri, Vanillix, Milotic, which is a rare. We have Lipard, and a Hollow Rare Volcanion. Okay, next up we have Minin, Diblade, Miltank, Wimpod, Mian Shao, what does this card do? If you attach a Pokemon tool from your hand to this Pokemon this turn to 70 more damage, eh, nothing too special. Got Rika, Screamtail, uh, we got Knacklestack, Mantike. Okay, we have another EX, but unfortunately it is another EX really not on the hunt for. Like, if we're gonna get these new Paradox Pokemon, you guys know we want Iron Hands, we want Iron Valiant, we want the Roaring Moon, but we've been, uh, kind of striking out with the the bottom tier one so far i have to say uh, that being said though, of course feel free to have a code card it's still an ex at the end of the day and uh, i'll still be nice enough to get a sleeve on this thing but uh here we have not to purloin mianfu fair seed defiance vest Veluza, another tm doublade maybe have our first garboder i think this card's kind of cool you discard a number of tool cards from your hand is 50 for each one you discarded so I'm definitely curious to try this one out. You can play it with the uh, the Snorlax from 151 that can get back the leftovers tool. So you can just keep recycling those over and over. So maybe Gardevoir has a little bit of 
competitive potential. We'll have to see. And we do have a duplicate of Zatu, but I actually am cool with this because I do think this card is pretty decent. Let's see, Toxel, Professor Sod. I think it's our first one of this card, but you guys know we would definitely prefer the full art version if at all possible. We got Crocolore, Trubbish, Deoxys. Hey, and we do have a full art, but yet again, guys, this is not one of the, the ones we're really after. I think Tapu Koko is actually probably one of the more like mid-tier EXs in the set. It's definitely better than some of these other ones that we pulled. Has the Vengeful Shock Attack. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out last turn, it does 120 and paralyzes your opponent. So this could maybe fit into Maridon decks just to maybe like make going for a two-shot a little bit easier. But yet again, guys, like... Even though it's a full art, even though it's an EX, it's not one of the cards that I think we're really after. But uh, I'll at least dish out a code card for that one, though. So at this point, I'm not sure how many regular full arts we can actually pull at this point. I, I feel like in an average box, two is about what you're going to be getting. And we've already pulled this and the Sean Tall, I think it was called. So I'm actually not confident we're going to have another shot at a better full art so we might need to resort to be uh um hoping for like a hyper rare at this point because we haven't pulled any of the gold cards from this set uh in this box yet so we still do technically have a shot at one of those so we still have a chance at least one of the chase cards that i'm going to be going for uh, we have elekid vanillish tulip don dozo Chantal taunting us yet again. We have Dwebble, Reverse Hollow Countercatcher, which is at least playable. And we have a Hollow Porygonzi. Okay, so it looks like if I'm counting correctly, I think we have eight packs left if I'm seeing right. So I imagine we'll have two other hits in these last packs here. Just uh, hopefully we can get one chase card though. Uh, we have Reverse Hollow Iron Moth. We have an Illustration Rare Veluza, which does at least look pretty cool. I do like the art on this thing. Uh, so that is pretty neat. And we have a Milotic. So let me actually read this card. I forget what it does. If it's in the active and is knocked out, move up to two energies from it to one of your bench Pokemon. Okay. Not an awful attack by any means. And Hydro Pump, of course, can do as much damage as you want with it. So who knows? Maybe a consideration for... Chien Paldex at some point, who knows? But uh, if nothing else, feel free to have a code since we did get that illustration rare. That's potentially one of our two-ish remaining hits that we could get here. That's assuming we have another hit in the box. I'm just going based on like normal sort of pull rates. Uh, we got Durant, Tandem Mouse, Whismer, and a Hollow Morpeko. Again, I am at least kind of grateful for the hollow rares we've been getting. The only duplicate that I can recall at least is the Zatu, which is debatably the most playable or one of the most playable ones. So I think we're doing okay in that regard. Got Ancient Booster Energy, got Psychozar, Turo, Vanillite. Oh, and we have a Secret Rare Garchomp EX. Okay, I did say we could get a gold card. And even though I'm not... I actually will probably never play with this art of Garchomp BX. It's an undeniably sick pull. This is easily the best pull, I think, for me of the box so far. Uh, Garchomp BX, I think it's just such a cool stage too. Love this card. And we also have an Espather, but of course this guy is definitely gonna be the star of the show here. Let's see if we can get, yeah, it's a better look at the texture there, but definitely very nice. Again, it's a shame it's not the full art. I would actually prefer the full art in place of this, but Again, it, it's a sick pool. Definitely leaps and bounds better than the other stuff we've been getting in this box so far. So we'll go ahead and get a sleeve on this guy. And of course, feel free to have a code card since we did get that one. Now, I will point out both of these past two pools have taken the reverse spot in the packs, which means I think we still could get a regular EX since in theory, those would not actually affect the pull rates. So five packs left, I think it is. Yeah, we can still we can still make this happen, I think. Ferrothorn, Curse Duster, Flamigo, Minan, and a Golisopod. Okay, we got Plusle, 
Dotler, Toxel, Lipar, Mianxiao, Rika, Screamtail, Reverse Volcanion, so that's kind of cool. It's a rare. We got Tinkatink, and we have a Cofagrigus EX. Okay, so like I said, I thought we might have one more like double rare uh, still hiding in these packs here. Cofagrigus, it's kind of a cool card. It actually reminds me a bit of the Dragapult VMAX that we now have lost in last year's rotation. But 110 and you put five damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. Kind of similar. That was a VMAX, which is basically the same as a stage one here. So it remains to be seen if Cofagrigus will be able to replicate any of the same success that Dragapult had. But uh, definitely a interesting or an interesting card, I should say. And of course, we'll dish out another code card for that one. I'd be willing to bet that we probably don't have anything else in these last three packs. Obviously, we're hoping to be proven wrong here, but I think Cofagrigus might have finally tapped us out. So we got Knackley, Parasol Lady, Porygon, Artillery, or Beetle, Cloth, Orthworm, Bounceweet, Phoebus, and a Latios. So at least we do have another Latios here to make up for the, uh, the dented one that we pulled uh, at the beginning of this video. So I guess that's one of the better <laughs> duplicate rares we could have gotten. Alrighty guys, we got Wimpod, Elikid, Tinkatuff, Trubbish, Sada, Minior, oops, Crocolure, Plusel, Wochien, and a Garganical. Okay, so one singular pack left to try to close this video out with something crazy here. Again, I'm willing to bet we don't have anything, but there is a slim chance that something else could be hiding in here to give us a little bit of redemption for, I think, uh, the quality, I think, of some of these pulls that we've gotten today. But here we have Golbat, Leary, Yamask, Surskit, Absol, Semiseer, Crobat, Gimme Ghoul, Krussel, and we have one last rare of the entire booster box. What do we have? We have a Toxtricity EX. That's another bulk EX, but nevertheless, we still got something uh, kind of decent in this last pack. Uh, I mean, honestly, I shouldn't say Toxtricity is bulk. I actually don't think this card is bad. I just don't know if there's enough reason to play this over the other lightning attackers that we have right now. But still, I didn't think we were going to get anything. So I'll gladly take even the worst EXs <laughs> at that point. And of course, I'll give you guys a code card there since we did get that Toxtricity. So I'm going to clean up real quick and then we'll do a recap. All right, so we have a Galisopod EX, Bombardier, Sandy Shocks and Coffer Grace for our regular EXs. Uh, for our Terra Pokemon we got, we got Serena EX as well as Toxtricity EX. Uh, for our Full Arts, we did get Tapu Koko EX, the unfortunate Sean Tall Full Art, but we did get the Illustration Rare Professor Turo, which at least is a lot more playable than some of these other ones that we've gotten. But personally for me, the I mean, easily the highlight of the box is going to be Garchomp EX, the hyper rare here gold card. Garchomp, such a sick Pokemon. I do wish we would have gotten the regular full art, but undeniably sick pull with this one. And then for our regular illustration rares, we did get the Dotler, the Aegislash, and the Veluza here. So in terms of the actual pull rates, I think we did really good with this box, but the actual pulls themselves are definitely not on the better side. Garchomp and Turo were sick, and even Tapu Koko is not the worst, but either way, still an absolutely massive shout out to Pokemon for thinking of me and sending me this product to open up with you guys today. But with that being said, if you did enjoy today's content, remember to smack that like button. And if you're feeling a little bit extra generous, you can also show your support by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.